In 2019, a crack unit of makers was assembled in order to help each other master new skills and techniques. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe the A-Team can answer your questions on the almost... Almost? Almost Star Wars Podcast. Cast, cast, cast. Oh wait, I don't have to echo. Sorry. Sorry. A-Team name and likeness not affiliated with the awesome show that came out in the 80s. All right. Hi, welcome everyone. Hi, me too. And it's like you know. So welcome everyone. This is uh, episode one of the Almost Star Wars podcast. So my name is Ron. I am better known as CG Artist. Um, You've seen, hopefully, you've seen my YouTube channel. We have Dave from Whitey's Wicked Workshop um, over in the corner there. We have Dennis from the Black Market Outpost. And we have James from the Rebel Base Build, also from RBB. across the pond. RBB. Good. I <laughs> did mess that up. I always call it uh, Whitey's Wicked work- uh, Warehouse for some reason. And, but, it, but it's a workshop. Got it. Cool. So welcome, guys. Thanks for joining. This is the first time. Um, well, now I'm all of a sudden nervous, but uh, I'll try to squash Great that. Great to be so. here. This good, good. Been a- been a long time in the making this hasn't it boys it has it, it, has, it, has, it has it has i think we've been talking about it for like eight months no uh about a month about a month yeah, um it's been a good while right so we can thank uh we can thank dave for getting us all assembled um one day i just looked on facebook and assembled. yeah yeah like a, like the, some other team <laughs> Uh, I looked on Facebook Messenger and saw that there was a club, and it was us four just to kind of get together, shoot the breeze, talk about stuff. And then thank Dennis after getting this club together and reading all the goofy comments and all the, the nonsense that was happening. He came up with the idea like, hmm, you know, this would make a good podcast. And here we are. So hopefully someone will watch it, right? Yeah. I'd, well, I'd, I'd watch it. I'm going to watch it, you know? Yeah. I watch everything with you guys in it. So. Without a doubt, we'll have at least four fans no matter what. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If anything, we'll just have some fun talking together here face to face. I think that's exactly. Cool. Exactly. Absolutely. Someone actually did. Uh, I think we picked up another subscriber today, too. So there's yeah. five. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Welcome. Yeah, a... Welcome. How did they find us? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> they're not supposed to. And speaking of that, um, before we move forward, let me give an explanation of why the A team. So, as I said, we got a, we got assembled by Dave, and then we all got to talking. We realized it was four of us. So he was like, you know what? We're kind of like the A team, and, and so that name kind of stuck. It's like, yeah. So you know, everybody got names, you know, from the team. So anyway, um, so that's the explanation. That's why we called ourselves the A team, and hopefully, we don't get sued. But then we'll, we'll have to be an M team or something for makers. M Look for at makers. these faces. Who's going to sue these faces? Exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't sue us. No. Or would I? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so cool. So um, let's go around and just let everybody know kind of what got us into this this mess. <laughs> and I'm not, not the podcast, but I mean just <laughs> building and making in general and especially the emphasis on Star Wars. I'm glad you clarified that bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, first then wrong. Yeah, so, well, um, it started where I was in a town home, and I saw this guy made a, a complete Batman cave, complete with stalagmites and, and everything. I mean, it was it was wow. fantastic. And that got me looking at more, you know, images of, okay, themed theaters, and just saw what a lot of people were creating. One guy had a pirate ship, and I thought, yep, I know, I know what I'm going to make. Uh, hun, we're moving. So uh, we looked for a, uh, a home with a basement. We found one that was kind of an L-shaped basement that had, like, your regular basement area. And in one extra room off to the side that they were using as a bedroom. And I thought, mm-hmm. that's the one. And, and and the rest of the house was good, too. So, so I blame that. And then um, we can also blame the smuggler's room. A lot of people know him. He started making his room i think uh dennis what were you saying how many times has he oh, made it i think it? it's got to be what the third generation of it now at least right yeah. and um he yeah. used to post on wood maker uh like woodworking sites uh, a lot of stuff a lot of content on pinterest and i was like yeah i'm i'm he kind of pushed me over the edge because 
before I had a theater room that just had like some chairs, a screen, some speakers on the wall, and some posters. And then I would look at it like, eh, I don't know. You know, and then the rest is history. <laughs> All right, who yeah. wants to go next with why you are in this craziness? I can do it. Dennis. Dennis, Dennis. go. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Just to add on, I think that that backdrop in the smuggler's garage is like the second generation of that room. He moved it up there to be his backdrop. Hmm. So I started basically during the pandemic. I've always been a builder of some sort. But as far as like the things we're doing now with the YouTube and the making of the masks and things like that, it all came about basically pretty much the same way as Ron. Stumbled across the smuggler's room, watched him make some stuff. And actually, my very first project and YouTube video is an exact copy of one of his builds. So one thing led to another, and I met you guys, and we just started building all kinds of stuff. And now it's getting out of hand. Now I'm running out of room for all the stuff I'm building. Right, because, yeah, then the printers and all that <laughs> yeah. stuff started the to introduce their cells. We need more. We need more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Who wants to James, go next? Did you order yet? My what? Printer. printer. My printer. No, no, no. Not yet. I'm going to get. I'm going to get to that. Nice. Right, okay. That. Well, do you want to go next then? Yeah, yeah I'll go next. Okay. So, uh, mine's a little bit of a different story actually. It was mainly due to wanting to build an Iron Man. I know, I know, it's not Star Wars. An Iron Man cosplay. So I started to play with EVA foam because I, I watched a couple of videos online and I found um, Bill Duran actually. He was doing loads of stuff with with foam and odin and then by proxy i stumbled across the smugglers room of course i think everyone's going to say that today because the truth is so much stuff out there and once i'd finished making the iron man armor for my first ever cosplay i saw brian's stuff and i thought yeah that's what i want to do so i hadn't filmed the iron man at the time i hadn't filmed the making of it just a bit of a collage so uh, i wanted to try and do something a little bit different and sort of turn that kind of those kind of skills into a star wars room and I think what sets me apart from maybe you guys in some ways, my use of foam, right? Foam as a main material, this is all, all foam. You start to use a little bit of wood. Um, and I also do 3D modeling. So, so that's been really useful because I can make all sorts of greeblies and you know, cool things for my room and my props. So uh, yeah, and I'm really enjoying the ride of, of actually sort of getting episodes out. Obviously I could get a few more out, but um, yeah, it's good fun. And you know, as Dennis was saying, I met you guys and we all had a, a blast talking about how we were going to build things and here we are it's great yep yep so yeah exactly um it, it again it sounds like you went down a rabbit hole and then, <laughs> that's what happens you know so yeah. i guess we can all kind of blame brian <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, you know right i was just thinking that it's all yep. heading it's all spawning from there exactly dave but it was all made to happen you know what i mean all of us yep. oh, yeah but yeah it was the same same kind of thing with me, except I was kind of finished in my basement. And then I think we went on a trip to Batu, Disneyland or Disney World, whichever it is. And then Mandalorian came out. I'm like, oh, man, this is great. Uh, but then I, I was actually, I wasn't even looking for like a basement build or anything like that. I was looking for dioramas because I'm a figure collector. So that's when I ran into the smuggler's room, and it's definitely all his fault. Um, but the first thing I kind of made was the, the door. I'm like, for some reason, I just got it in my head. I'm going to make a door like that. I had the skills to do it, and it came out pretty good. And it's kind of oh, cool. just been going from there. So then meeting you guys, it's I learn every day. Cool, cool. Definitely, good stuff. Definitely got the cool yeah. door. I yeah. love you yeah. guys, man. I love you guys. <laughs> and speaking of the door, um, perfect timing. You actually put out a video today, in fact, um, that showed like how you made the door with like all the schematics and and, and all the yeah. all the innards and stuff. So that was a good video behind the scenes and everything. So folks, Thank if you, you guys want to make a door, and what sets it apart from uh, the door that I created, which is really cool. Is that sound that, that that sound that comes from the actual air compressor? So that's that's a pretty good way of, of don't, making. Don't it. say it, James. What don't I like about it. it. I don't, don't say it. It's in what? your title, right? Is it in your title, Star Trek, Star Wars? <laughs> I knew you were thinking it, it. You were smirking. It is. 
<laughs> good. It's good. Star what now? Exactly. No, oh, cool. Almost. Almost Star Wars Thor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, that, that's very, very true. <laughs> Cool, cool. So, yep. So, uh, Brian, if you ever watch this, uh, yeah, buddy, it's it's all your fault. You did this yeah. to us. I you think he knows that. all you. <laughs> yeah. Probably takes pride in it. Like, yeah, if I can convert some more people, that'd be great. Which yeah. he he's definitely doing. Yep. You, uh, you, James and uh, and Brian are you know creating that that Facebook page. I mean, that thing. Wow, that yeah. blew yeah. up. That blew that's up. great. That's yeah. great. We were talking about that for a long time. Kind of like I, being I used to... children of a cult, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, without the yeah. without the snuggies, yeah. without the, yeah. <laughs> the onesies. <laughs> right. Ah, onesies. I understand onesies. Snuggies, yeah. not so much. It's another version of that. And if you wear them together with your significant other, you're pretty much in a cult. This is the most interesting part of this dynamic. How I how I have to translate things on the fly because you all speak <laughs> your your language, right? <laughs> I'm getting yeah. that. We're not speaking proper English at all. <laughs> No. Let's not go down that one again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, let's see. So to keep it moving. Uh, all right. So I guess we should probably come up with some topics then. One topic, action figures. Everybody has action figures. Yeah. There you go. What you got there? Ah, the baby Yoda Ooh, with a, with a frog. Today. Oh, oh nice. I just yeah, the retro it's one. Called, yeah, it's called The Child. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, he that didn't have a nice. name at the time. I have this yeah, one too. Okay. Look at this. Oh, I didn't size know they came difference. in that. Yeah, there's more detail right. in the boxed one. Yeah. I'll tell you what I, I really like about the box art is the weathering around the outside, which is cool yeah. until you put more than one of them together and then it's the same weathering on all of them. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But that's cool though. Oh, the little chipping and all that. That is yeah, pretty yeah. cool that they thought to do that. Kind of truly yeah, retro, retro, right? Retro. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Hey, what's on the back side of that? They show more figures? Oh, okay, Ooh. just a synopsis. Yeah, no, not yeah, on no this background. one. No. They kind of lost that. They partially have it on the vintage collection. Yeah. Uh, yeah that was part of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that no, is... I missed that, too. There's no proof of purchase, either, from yeah, Kenner. Where's, yeah. the... where's the proof and... of purchase? I know like... here in the UK, there used to be or maybe the same over in the US, but I remember as a kid, there used to be two little black, blacked out figures, little square black, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't see the figures. They were little square bl uh, right, like, black oh, square. Right, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Uh, and I think, was it like 77 <laughs> and 78 numbers? That were right on the bottom. Right, right. Yeah. 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 I think so one of those was Boba Fett, right? Get? They, uh, they referred I think so. to them, here they referred to them as placeholders for whatever yeah. figure was coming. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I remember that. I think they Boba did that Fett here, though, too, right? Yeah, yeah, right, they yeah, did that yeah. here. It was, there were some right. 77 and 78, yeah. I think, were the numbers, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they were placeholders. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, I am I mean, curious you guys, about You guys that. know the whole story, right? I mean, that mm. thing was, like, super rushed. They yeah. Taking, oh, they were, really? They were taking Fisher-Price action figures, like the ones that are based on the Imagine X today, mm. and they were painting them into Star Wars figures, and that's how they sales pitched it. There wow. were no initial wow. figures until way after. And didn't they didn't they initially sell you a, an empty box with the names in? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So I cool. don't remember yeah, any the of that. Yeah, the starter you kit. You had to go. To, like, James is one hundred percent correct. You went to the store and you bought certificates for the figures, and then Damn. after I forget, it was quite a while after that Kenner actually went out and started manufacturing them, and mm. then you could take your certificate in. And trade it in on whatever figure they were manufacturing <laughs> at that time. Oh wow! They weren't. And doesn't that just that... show how much faith and trust we had in them? That could have been the biggest scam ever, right? That yeah. could have. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they they pushed it for Christmas. That's how. They oh, that's did perfect. It. That's because perfect. Because they did not have the figures ready in time to sell for Christmas, so they sold the gold certificates for Christmas, Willy yeah. Wonka style. They gave <laughs> you the certificate. <laughs> you did guys have that? Later. Did you guys yeah. have that? Yeah, yeah, we had that. Certificates? Yeah. I never, I never. I've never heard that. of that either. That must have been I, in like certain countries or certain part of the country. I, I, I did first, not know that. Wow. I believe my first two figures were all certificate based. I could never get them. Mm. I got wow. them like months later. And then, 
There's no yeah, action figure there a... certificate in there. So. Right. Oh, wow. There was a storm of figures then, right? Yeah. There was just yeah, everywhere. Yeah, and then yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. They were mass producing everything. Then they so were good. everywhere. Yeah, I wish and then it was towards the like end, that. me too. And then towards and then the end, not. I think and the I... only figure you could find was Yoda. Remember that? He had the little rubber yeah. snake, yeah. and that was like mm. it was like the whole aisle, the whole all the pegs. Right. Yoda, 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 <laughs> little by mm. why was, Yoda. Why, was, why was that? Do you think? Was he just not a popular character, or no idea? You know, mm. my opinion, I believe it's size. Mm, size cheaper. Size and posability. Yeah, mama wouldn't let you buy it, right? Yeah. That's too <laughs> small for $6. It. That's yes. not worth it. Exactly. Worth it. Exactly. IG-88 was worth it for $6. Right. Oh, yeah. How, how do we... Yeah, he was a real tall, lanky. But he was. skinny and bendy, right? His legs were bendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I He's think him, uh, Vader, Chewbacca might have been the three tallest yeah, at the I mean, time. And then Yak Face, I think, might have been one of the taller ones. And then there was this right. green one, this weird green one. I don't, I don't I forget the figure's name, but that was a, that was a big one at the time, that, too. Um, Amanaman. Amanaman, Amanaman. Amanaman, ah, yeah. yes. That's the one. Uh, I remember you couldn't leave IG-88 out in the sun because his legs would start to bend on their own. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You could right, so leave him outside. That's IG-11 there, right? Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's is that IG brown? See, see how right? brown he is? Yeah, we were that talking brown. about that. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I could see a little bit of brown on him, but this guy's all brown. Like, they just, I guess the molding, they just, they just it just was yeah. like, screw it. And when you, <laughs> just, when you see the figure next to the, the box art like that, you can yeah, see the clearly. colors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Still cool, though. Yeah, still cool. You're going to buy one. You know you are. I need to. I, I have a lot of figures I need to buy, and they're probably going to be all gone by the time I I decide to buy them. I mean, I still have a original. I've been going too crazy lately. Too crazy. Original figures, you know. Mm -hmm. Those are the figures I could show. The other ones are kind of beat up, and 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 they're rebels, you know. And, and just well, well, we'll have to revisit the, the the figure things. I've got a. I haven't got it near me now, but I've got a box full of these. The, oh yeah, you got to. Going to have to oh, bust yeah, those out. Can be great to tip into that at some point. I, yep. Yeah, we'll have to uh, plan that. I have my whole original set. Yeah, I'd like to see that. That that wow. that is definitely for another episode where we're just to bust out all the figures. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. See what you've done, yeah, Dave. I got my Darth <laughs> Vader case right over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah the top, now, the, the torso or the uh, <laughs> the upper body. Yeah. Nice. I'd love to get the C three PO one. Yeah. The, yeah, that'd be good. The shiny mm -hmm. one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not not the other. I, I thought they came out with another one that was kind of not shiny. Yeah, it was just the so, no, yeah. gold, gold mm. colored, dull plastic. Yeah, yeah. that's not, that's never gonna do. No. Maybe that was when he was on tattooing. Got all dirty and everything. There you go in the sand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know what they John should do? Clean them up. John was yeah. Speaking of, uh, of tattooing, I can't stop looking at the the sand Tuscan Raider, <laughs> and that's just. Yeah, That's he's awesome. Prop. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Crazy prop. Oh. There he is, complete with lips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even notice the eye part had those slits in there. That's pretty cool. That is so oh, good. Yeah. I guess they would need that. You kind of your blind spots, you know. Okay, that's weird. There's a finger coming out of the eye socket. Yeah, there's definitely <laughs> fingers in there. That's not canon. <laughs> no. <laughs> So how long would it would you say it took you to make that? I know you made a whole video about it, but still, uh, tell us. Think, well, research took the longest because mm -hmm. I didn't quite, I didn't quite know how they were getting the shape of the face and everything. Right, it couldn't have been just a straight wrap. So right. once I started going back and looking how they did it back at ILM back in the day, it was all va uh, a vacuum formed skull based on a clay mold. So ah. I thought, well, if they vacuum formed. I can 3D print, and it's not cheating. Right? No, it's the never cheating. The, the modern day vacuum former. Yeah, pretty much. So I basically 3D printed the Greeblies in uh, resin, and then the inside skull, which I don't know if you can see too much of it anymore, I just printed in filament. Ah, okay. So being me and building with my style, you know, where I got to use junk, the helmet is actually a hard hat. I cut the rim. I was going to ask regular, you about that. Yeah, I cut the rim off of a regular hard hat, and inside a hard hat they have liners. So I took remove the liner, and the liner is perforated with holes in it. Genius. So you, it'll breathe and everything. 
Yeah. yeah. And I didn't have you to call it a bump cap, right? Or, right. Yeah, it's it. called a bump cap. They're made to slip like inside, like a baseball cap yeah. type thing. Hmm. For like how me and you are, Dave. Like shop wise, rather yeah. than having a full hard hat, you get you wear the bump cap. You put it on, you go under something, you come out, you dig it off. Mm. So oh, I wow. took the liner. I took the liner out of it, and it's already padded and everything. And the holes. And the or you holes did for the ventilation. Holes. No, no, the holes are already in there for ventilation. Nice. They come in the bump cap already preset. Yeah, right, right. Because with all the bandages and stuff, you, cosplay, yeah. you're gonna want to gonna oh, want to vent like some crazy. some hot air. Right. Yeah. yeah. When so you, got... when, Dennis, when you were doing your resets, did you did you find that there were no two that looked the same? Because obviously you, you yeah, got a bit of a. Absolutely, that was the one thing I was concerned about. I was like, man, how do I pull this off? So when I started researching it and looking around, everybody was saying that, that it's like people. There's no two that look the same. They wrap themselves. Right. So. Huh. Example: Sweet. One guy wraps with his left hand, the other guy wraps with his right hand. They're going in all different directions. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's not like it's not like the awesome might of the yeah. empire. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right, um, it's not like they're <laughs> manufacturing these helmets on a assembly line and handing them out. Right. I think the, exactly. the, the only problem with it is it's still still at your place in your workshop. You're supposed to be shipping it to me. It's a gift, right? <laughs> I could. I could do that. I could do that. I know. Like everyone has a prop that someone else wants. Like, okay, well, my address <laughs> so, is. <laughs> initially when I take my it, money right you can see right here I left the seam <laughs> right down here there's a seam that I left mm -hmm. between the two openings initially I made that with a velcro strap so that you could slip it on and off but I found that I didn't need it and I really didn't like the way it looked when it velcroed so I removed it and I glued a seam in there and then I just added more bandages over it ah gotcha gotcha that looks but great I love that there's a group out there that are, I believe they're part of the 501st. They call themselves the Crate Dragons or something like that. Uh-oh. It better so be accurate. Have... No, no <laughs> way. I, 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 po I posted it on their site and a few of them were like, you know. That one eye's nice. a little crooked. It's nice, but it won't. Yeah. There you <laughs> yeah. <go. See? laughs> Bandages are right over left. Just saying. Yeah, so, what's wrong? <laughs> hey, you're talking you know, about that. Funny. It's funny you mentioned about the bandages because everybody warns you not to create a basket weave pattern on there because then it just looks like it's fake. <laughs> so you really mm. got to pay attention to how you're wrapping these things. Like, yeah. no two of them can be in the same direction. Well, the one guy that joined, that's what he does. He makes what baskets. What does he mean, though, about everybody wrap their own? The actors? Well, if it were a real society, in, right? That's Tuscan, just how it would yeah, be. In Tuscan Raider myth, they created these helmets to be able to live in the sand climate. I've yeah, got a right. question. Each, each raider created his own helmet, is what I mean by that. Oh, okay. Do you think that when they wake up in the morning, they don't look like that at all? They 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 have the the triangle bit and the little pipes, and they stand there <laughs> winding this and stuff they just around wrap them it for up about around there? like a whole hour. <laughs> you know, I, I, <coughs> excuse me, but then that's going to look different every day. So how do you know? Right. Like, where's Tom? I was reading about this that they're not allowed to take them off except for certain things by hmm. penalty of death. Really? Damn. Yeah. Uh, but they I still think, need I think it was mating or wedding or. Because you know you ritual. you kind of kind of need to see each other if you're gonna you know, right? <laughs> but supposedly they're humanoid. But I was I just know. gonna ask that. Does anyone know what a Tuscan Raider would look like without? all of that on like you know a few days ago i was watching because actually i was talking to dave about it and i was showing him some images of a jedi tuscan raider yeah right legend oh yeah stuff mm. and that person was a jedi prior to that and was mm. adopted okay. into the clan so yeah. he's humanoid ah so, okay so it's, oh. so it's based it's like where does the clothes stop and the character yeah. start yeah right Based on what I've been reading and looking around all over the place, they're pretty much a tribe. Like they recruit people or help yeah. people out or however they do it. I and they actually they're... the tribes actually fight against each other too. Sometimes. Yeah, I don't know if they're <laughs> actually like a species of their own. I guess is what I'm getting at. I'm still right. I'm still right. looking into that. I'm still <laughs> looking into that stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff though. Really good. It is. Read. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Cool. Well, that's what's store. cool about making. Making a prop with that research, you do you find stuff out. You know yeah, how much yeah. you found out about some people now. Right. Like Who'd have known? like if we researched Bosk, which oh, which by yeah, which is my my yeah. least favorite 
uh, <laughs> bounty hunter because, oh. and everyone knows, everyone's laughing because it's those forearms. Anyone who's watching, go look at a picture of Bosk from the early days, like the, the Empire Strikes Back, and yeah. just tell me what's up with those forearms. How can you, you can't even hold your gun right. How, I, how am I going to fear you as a bounty hunter? That now I'm gonna go on my rant of why Bosk should be out. So maybe you, he was sore. No, he was like the push-up. Couldn't jab. hold anything. He, I don't have a weapon, but if I did, exactly, he just he couldn't do it right. That's exactly. How can I fear? You can't even aim it right. You know, Destroy sorry. the movie for me. I've never, Sorry, I've never noticed it. I so never even should... seen that when I was a kid. Users destroying it now. So, <laughs> Dave, Dave, you mentioned uh, in an interview before that you know, as we were, as we grew up, there wasn't much Star Wars. I mean, well, there was plenty of toys and stuff, but we didn't get yeah. new movies. We didn't have animated shows or anything. So, anything right. Star Wars, you you just gobbled it up. Star Wars, oh, yeah. Play Doh. Oh, I gotta have the Play Doh. So that's why we're messed up today. Yeah, that is kind of what I would ask. So back then, they had trading cards for Empire Strikes Back specifically, and it was right. like hundreds of them. And you'd collect them, and it would be scenes of the movie that you, they're with yours. Your right? Yeah, well, we didn't trade. We were just like, what do you have? Oh, I, I want that one. I got to look for it. Let me buy another pack. You know? Yeah, you got doubles. <laughs> right. So I had a, and speaking of that, I had a double of, of Bosk. And I just, I, I looked at the card and was like, huh. And I was like, look at this dude, what's wrong with his forearms? And and so we would play with the action figures and we would adopt that story into our play, like, hey, you gotta go get the you know, the bounty and it's like, Oh wait, don't call him. Look at his arms. I mean he, obviously he can't do it. I mean look at him, his gun's all wrong, look at him. Just look you know, it was like discrimination because of his arms. It was so bad. Hey But you know what though? Who was it that said that they like grow limbs and stuff back? Maybe it was just coming ah. back. Yeah. <laughs> it came back wrong. This shit was like backwards. Swap it, it was, it was <laughs> Transdotions. They regenerate their limbs. It. I don't know. I'm sorry. I got up on that that tangent. I mean, that's you know, it, that's so what happens. Ron, it's a great you remember tundra. a while back, you posted a picture of that, right? Yeah. In one of our chats. Yeah. And I, I noticed in the picture that on the blaster, they actually put a grip all the way up forward so they no. couldn't reach his hand. No, 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 unacceptable. That's that's an afterthought because people no like me though. noticed. No and they were trigger. like, Yeah, it's just... No trigger. It's How's just, he firing that? How is he firing that? <laughs> just forearm all broken. I don't yeah, know. It's just weird. Didn't you find another picture, though, where it was actually, it looked right? Somebody oh, fixed it. To did. be fair, someone fixed it. And <laughs> I, I think, Dennis, you were saying... Uh, the SE version, huh? Could so, be. Oh, yeah. E everywhere I've been reading, it looks like we may actually get Bosk here in the uh, Book of Boba Fett. Uh-oh. Oh, sweet. So, well, I, are we well, going to get his arms, too? or? I, I'm hoping that, you know, <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to get a modern-day a modern day Bosk. So. I, I hope. That yeah, poor actor is going to be tainted. <laughs> He should when have you his think elbows back to, in the proper location. Yeah. <laughs> when you think back to how how they've evolved already, the Trandosians, and, and yeah. how you've seen them, like in the Clone Wars, right. you know. I was gonna... Go ahead, go ahead. You're going to say? Go on. I was going to say, in uh, season one of The Mandalorian, you can go see some Trandosians. Yeah. They got normal elbows. Mm. He's fighting yeah. Them, he's fighting them in the, by that cave scene over there. They're the ones with the dogs, right? Um, trying to remember back. Uh, one of, one <clears> of they, his they were like in a, a cavern. Yeah, in a cavern. Came out. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. right. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. They were after the child. Yes. They were after yes. the child. Speaking of that species, would you say that in Bad Batch, the lady that's hired them, yeah. is she one of them? Yeah, she might mm -hmm. be. Okay. All right. Trans Just a, short, a shorter version. Yeah. A shorter, greener version. <laughs> but it, cool. it, does, it does raise an interesting moral question maybe about are we expecting all weapons to be designed in the same way in a universe mm. of star wars where everyone's arms are different right you know and they right, all have right. two that's arms true. And, right, right, right. you know what i mean like that's true greedo's hands always used to make me laugh in a new hope so, you know really <laughs> fingers. long fingers with a little suckers on the end <laughs> yeah he's yeah. holding his gun and his fingers are like 10 miles away it's right 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 right, right. then you have uh what, what was that character Admiral clyde Akbar. ah yeah. i love akbar and now he's gone <laughs> Or radish, and then they give a guy like that the smallest gun. Does that make sense? 
again, the that's probably over here and it, his fingers are <laughs> way out there. Just because his peers or his posse looked at him like, uh, uh, just give him anything. He can't look at him. He can't. He can't use his fingers brings anyway. To, brings us to the question of: There's no possible way he could have shot first because his finger never reached the trigger. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. At least, at least his elbows are in the right place. <laughs> His elbows were in the right place. I mean, he could have been like that one character in the newest Star Wars that has no arms. You know, he's just... I, I, I don't know what he's... What's his function? What he's, What is he doing? Oh, you know, like, that... Yeah. But I guess he's a, he's a, he's quite the engineer and knows the Falcon really well, so that's cool. Hmm. Yeah. I, I just was wondering... Yeah. Was that wasn't well, CG. That was a... That was a I think that was a full-on, like, yeah, uh, rig. Yeah. 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 What are you talking about? You so, know, there's a character, he's just got, he's like a slug, he's on the Falcon, right? And he's got these little horns that come from his head. Do you remember? Oh. Right, yeah, no arms, though. Yeah, they were like dancing engineer. or something with him, yeah, right? Like no, no, he wasn't dancing, he's an engineer, he was like helping engineer, fix the Falcon. <laughs> I, I, I know what you're going at. Close his hands, baby? I don't know. I, I don't know, we didn't, they didn't get into it, but I just... I remember sitting in a theater like, huh. Oh, that's not, that's not going to work, is it? Ah, Ooh. Ah, that's not going to work. Hey, back to the shot first, then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought that was a second, another second edition thing, wasn't it? I think they reversed it or something. Right, they did reverse oh, it. Yeah. Greedo shot and then Han shot him, and that's what started the whole yeah. Han shot first deal. Right. Yeah. There's, you know. there's been many, many... There's lots of YouTube videos on that subject, actually, that really break it down. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, that was the uh, a few new surprises part of the new so series. So which is first? Well, <laughs> uh, you don't shot first? No, yeah. he definitely... Well, he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have. Han, <laughs> Han shot first. <laughs> All right. You tried to get me there, didn't you? Claude. <laughs> there he is, there he is. There he is, Claude. Ah, Claude, yes. That's what I was trying to show you before. That's your engineer. So yeah, I mean, there's a good chance. There's a, there's a real good chance we'll see Bosk because they have a history. If you guys go back and right. watch Clone Wars, yeah, I know. I gotta watch it. Yeah, David, David, and I have not watched it. I mean, I saw the one movie in the theater where they were saving a baby. I think they were trying to save a baby Jabba the Hutt, and then really I shouldn't. thought, I thought, ugh, that you really shouldn't tough. judge the series on the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to nerd out, but I think that was Zero the Hut. Yeah, Zero the Hut. <laughs> yeah, he was. A, he had the cool body paint, right? Well, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Not a cool yeah. body paint, but he had the body paint. Yeah. Right. Correct. Yeah, that that soured it for me, and I know it's good. I know, and I think the series ended already, right? Like it's com officially yeah. ended. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm I'm gonna fire up Disney, and and I'm gonna watch it. How many seasons was it for? It ended a few years back, and then was it last year, James? It ran season seven or two years mm, yeah. ago. Yeah, the pandemic's got me screwed up. I can't ever remember. <laughs> I think it was last I think year or two years ago. I think it was one to five, <laughs> and then they released six as like a, a, a revisited special edition, and then seven Correct. was with Disney, right? Correct. Uh, seven yeah, was I think so. <clears throat> okay. Seven, they gave Filoni the chance to close it out with seven. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's what, and that's where you spun off the Bad Batch because that's how they came about in Seven. Okay, so I know the Clone oh, really? Wars also answers yes. a bunch of stuff. Right? They were in Seven. Yes. Really? Oh man, oh, that's it now. Can. Yeah, now we really got some stuff to watch. Even better here. We could go all night at this. The Marquez sisters also came. Yes. In seven. Hmm. Yes. That was cool. Marquez as well. sisters were the two girls that they were battling to get that uh, program in the what two two episodes back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was great. <clears throat> great. Yeah. Now, story. now we have to watch. I mean, it's yeah. yeah it all yeah. ties. It all ties. I started. It all ties. <clears throat> it all ties. I love and how I'm, all of it ties together. I just I'm, I find that fascinating that just, they would yeah. even think about it. Just taking a wild guess here, but this it's very very much going to tie into the book of Boba Fett. Mm hmm. Okay. Because it, it can spring. The reason I say that is it's got the potential to spring a lot of bounty hunters. Is remember, well, in those series, Boba Fett was a kid, so he tagged along with a lot of these bounty right. hunters. They have the opportunity to bring them all in. They all had a part in his life. <laughs> so, I think it would be really great. cool <clears throat> if they went if they went down the line of Mace Windu yeah. in that grudge, the grudge between I Boba agree. and that would yeah. be just. 
that would, would be great. Cool. I mean, yeah. maybe maybe predictable, but but great. That, yeah. Well, I mean, that grudge brought him into the Clone Wars, into the cartoon. Waiting anyway. for Mace to come back. Right. Yeah. It just seems like he should. Well, like we didn't see the body, so that's I mean, right. I don't know. In, well, in if Palpatine my... can do it, I mean, the whole planet blew up <laughs> somehow. <laughs> A big <laughs> chunk. All right, I'm not. I'm not gonna start. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Yeah, you never know. You fall off of things. You land in a speeder, and you're out of there. Yeah, but maybe when it blew up, he just woke up and went like this and went to the next planet. Uh... Through space. Through space. <laughs> you don't have to comment on that, guys. You don't have to you're talking about your favorite layer thing now, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, no. 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 I love it. Nope. Nope. No. Well, <laughs> thanks for joining us in this podcast. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> no. That's what happens when we bring up Leia floating. That is what happens. It, in, it just ends everything. The whole it's over now. It's over. It's done. Yeah. It's done. The music was good. Music was good. Yeah. The, the music. The, there's cool. never ever ever a question about the music. It's always good, no matter what scene. That's just the way it is. I yeah. Totally this, mean, this is completely irrelevant, right? And no one even needs to know this, but. In October, I'm off to see the John Williams Best of John Williams Orchestra in London. Can't oh, be. Yeah. oh yeah! It's been such a long time since we've done with with lockdown and stuff since we've done anything like yeah. that. So that's very cool. Wow. Take taking the missus. It's going to convert the missus. You know, she's got to be she's got to be along for the ride. Feel the power of that music. Right Make there. sure you record it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do that. So cool, cool. Um, okay. I'm, I'm just looking at uh, no, and it's not like we'll ever run out of things to say. I mean, you know, Star Wars. And feel free, James, to bring in anything else sci-fi too. Like you know, everyone knows I have a, I have this love for Blade Runner. And you say what you will about the second movie. I thought it was brilliant, but you know, there's that. One, one thing that might be cool <laughs> is we could have that conversation that we like about how movies are just better back then, you know, <clears throat> and and those franchises like all those ones that we've talked about endless nights, you know. Oh yeah, um, Terminator yeah. and Aliens and all of those cool yeah. things. This is what the almost Star Wars bit means in our in our group, right? Right, right. right. We, it gives, we love it gives all this us stuff. that small window to travel outside of Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Um, man, when we go back through the old movies, I mean, mm. yes, some of them don't really age well, but some really do. Um, and I, I get, again, I have to pick on Blade Runner. It's just. It seems to age well. I just that yeah. that and Aliens, the whole Aliens franchise, minus maybe some of the newer movies, just because you know they, they've let t- technology dictate it. But when you look back, I mean, just the, the the goriness of it, or the lack of where it was implied something happened, you kind of saw. Uh, and I'm jumping all over the place, I know, but kind of like in Predator, mm-hmm. um, it, you kind of saw that the, eye, the guy got his arm shot off or cut off. You 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 know you saw it land on the ground, but it wasn't kind of the in-your-face gore that's just unnecessary. Right, right. You you, ha- you yeah. still had to fill in some of the parts, kind of like uh, Albert Which Hitchcock. You know, you, right? You had to put that yeah, together, yeah. right? You didn't have to tell you absolutely everything. And I think right. that's one of the keys to making a, a good movie back then. You know, um, a they didn't have the computer really doing a lot of stuff so it was all just effects right on the set mm-hmm. and as a good director or producer or whatever or, or just art director they would say okay well that that's going to look kind of silly so how can we move the camera to a, a point where we can see it but not see it right the little mystery to it right and i right. think that's that's the difference between the movies of yesteryear and, and today yeah, mainly they, 80s yeah. and they seem to be dark <clears throat> too right yep mm. Definitely. Like the, they there's, take there's the lighting way down. Yep. You, Which you helps can... hide stuff. Oh yeah. Not to get, not to take us back to Star Wars, but you can do that same thing with the prequels mm-hmm. and what was out in the '70s, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's yeah. green screen yeah. everywhere. Definitely. They could have right. shot. They could have shot that thing in the back of a U-Haul. All they needed was a green wall. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yep. Dave, I, proposed... I remember one, one night we were t- we were chatting and you were talking about I think it was. Uh, we were comparing A New Hope to Flash Gordon in terms of how one is timeless and one is not. We had that mm, conversation yeah. about the look of those right, films. Right, right. Yeah. That, yeah. That, was, that, was, that was interesting. Do you, do you want to... You made some good points Please about elaborate. the aesthetics, I, think. <laughs> I, I don't know. I was mean, that... I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the Flash Gordon movie. Yeah. 
Like, that was my movie as a kid. But when compared to a Star Wars, yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and they came out around the same time, so what happened, do you think? So simple. Uh, you want my honest opinion on Star Wars? George Lucas' wife saved him big time. Because he's Ed- still, editing, right? He filmed Flash Gordon. Did he? Uh, he filmed Flash Gordon. That Star Wars needed a lot of help in editing to get to for what we saw. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I heard you that. Know what I'm trying to say it wasn't. Yep. I think it's the visuals, though. I think he used a he used like a neutral visual, like the stormtroopers and yeah. you know the black the black and whiteness of the sets, like Tanti right, Tan, Tan, Tan Actually, I, I'm not saying yeah. he didn't know what he wasn't doing, but. Hmm. And I think the use of orchestral music uh, <laughs> made a big difference because obviously Flash Gordon, although the soundtrack was amazing, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yeah. it dated it dated the film. <laughs> There's no doubt, Flash. It was a cheesy movie. Yeah, but great. Still, I don't know. It was a great cheesy movie. I mean, what was... sucks is we never got the sequel we were promised, right? Because yeah. yeah. at the end, well, it, it cool. definitely yeah, looked like strip, it, right? Right. Yeah. 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 But we were promised a sequel, and in, and in the world of sequels, Man. some things that remember. shouldn't. Right. So I'm thinking, out of all the things they've redone. Maybe it's time to redo Flash Gordon then. I mean, or if you can not. redo Total Recall, I, yeah. And now, now I agree. Some movies should never be, you know, redone. Just leave it alone as a classic, yeah, like just, the original Back Ghostbusters, to um, the future, Back to the Future, Predator. Right. The list goes on and on. But there are right. some movies where it could use today's technology, but still tell the same story, right? Like every actor doesn't need to have their face shown. I, I get it. Right. You know. You know. I'm talking to you, Venom. Where you could have just kept everything on, but you decided to pull the stuff back to show the actor and give him some time. I get it. You know. Right. Sorry. Another another rant. This is all Bosk's fault. I'm pretty sure. I, I, know. <laughs> I feel like Flash Gordon wouldn't. A sequel for, for Flash Gordon with technology just wouldn't be Flash Gordon. Hmm. I don't know. Plus, you'd have to retell the first story because a lot of people just, you know, especially this yeah. era, wouldn't even know what that is and why yeah, there'd be no, a sequel, right? So they'd have to kind of start with the first reboot mm-hmm. and then a sequel. Yeah, I, I, I mean, think it goes, we... I think it goes deeper than that. Oh, this mm-hmm. is my opinion, anyway. I think if you think about how you can put, like, let's talk about the Mandalorian, right? You've got uh, uh, a video on demand service like Disney. We've got the Mandalorian on there, a modern TV show, right? The Stormtroopers were designed in 1975, 76, 77, whatever. We're, we're looking at, uh, you know, a decade-old design that was used in a sci-fi film from the 70s. Can you imagine any other movie from that time that you could take something out of that hmm. and put it in a modern TV show? And then new people that haven't seen Stormtroopers before, and believe it or not, there are lots of those that were introduced to Star Wars through Mandalorian, never, right, right. never went, oh, look at that, that looks really cheesy, because right. Stormtroopers don't look cheesy. They look really... They're just timeless right you know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right and, and there's Future. so much of that in those films mm. there, are, there are some yeah. there are some you know yeah yep. i agree here I and there mean, but you, you know, i think 70 percent of the movies just it is and, and it and it's not even it's not even the costumes it's the vehicles it's everything i mean you you yeah. guys see yeah. everybody here has seen the reactions to that x-wing coming in on that docking bay and then the mandalorian yeah people lost uh, yep. it yep. people cried on live tv Yep. Yeah. You knew exactly yeah. what that Stuff was about. Like that is timeless. That is. It just doesn't go away. No flying monkeys here. Right. No <laughs> flying monkeys. <laughs> no no speeders or trolls where the clouds are moving and nothing else is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Did you see that post that I just seen it today where it was <clears throat> um Han Solo and Luke and Chewbacca, and I think it was The Force Awakens. And somebody was like, "What is Han alive?" Hmm. And then it was all about this is what we were looking for in in the sequels. Right, right. And yeah, that, yeah, exactly. I, yeah. A re a reuniting of of the main we characters were would have been years. ideal. Yeah, for yeah. Years. I think I feel like we were robbed on that one. Yeah. So let me ask you a question on that subject, though. How much of that do you guys feel was Harrison Ford wanting to end it? He's been wanting to get out since the first movie. He has, but... Right. Yeah. 
But then I mean, he ended up coming back in the last one anyway. So well, for the right mm. amount of money, anybody will do anything. That's right. Yep. Yeah, I've always I've always found it really hard to to take that whole having your heroes back on screen and the opportunity like you know that I think the picture you're talking about is one within the Falcon. They're all sitting in the Falcon. It's been photoshopped, so it looks like they're all there. Yeah, there's a few of them. I isn't thought there? they were outside. Like there's a few fight different scene. ones, but yeah, there's, there's a, a few. Falcon, there's one where they're outside. Yeah. And, yeah, but I remember thinking, you know, JJ JJ Abrams, big fan of Star Wars. He's I like some of the stuff he's done. He's done some great Super yeah. Eight was a great film. I think he did a good job on the Star Treks. I think it's oh, interesting yeah. that we've got yeah. a director that's done both Star Trek and Star Wars. That's right. Great. <laughs> but uh, you know, he must have thought that uh, it, well, I've got the I've got access to these characters. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to make you wait all the way to the end of the film, stick Luke in it, and then we're going to have people not meet each other. And I don't, I, I don't know where that decision came from or how that even happened. But um, would it have been too predictable to have them all together again? And how useful would that have been? Were they trying to hand it over to to the, to the new guys? You know? I think that's the key, is they were trying to hand it over to a new generation. But I still feel, I mean, let's, let's base. They could have did it know, a different uh, way. Right. right. Yeah. A lot of people who are going to go see the movies are going to be people who were diehard fans and, and watch, you know, watch the original trilogy. And that's what we wanted to see. Totally. I mean, that's just that's just the way it is. I mean, I yeah, you can still of... pass the baton, but you and I know you can't make everybody happy, but I feel like there should have been at least just a meetup at some point before you decided to do whatever yeah. with the characters. And mm-hmm. and we we missed that, you know. But I wanted that in 1986, 1987. I wanted I did to, too. I wanted what happened after the <clears throat> Return of the Jedi? Don't leave me hanging. We all wanted yeah. that. It's not all about Ewoks yeah. dancing yeah. around the fire. I want to yeah. see. What yeah, there's got to be some conflict. Someone's not happy. You know, there's yeah, got to be right. somebody not happy about this, and they're plotting. And you know, it was just ah, I really <laughs> wish they would have made more of that. You know, but mm. would it have gotten well, to the where point Mando where it comes in, right? Know, that's that yeah. does. In that that's gap. that's yeah. kind of the sequel. Absolutely, it yeah. really is. Yeah, I, I mean, look at that next to make us happy. I, Mm-hmm. I'm a big, big, big fan of Dave Filoni, and I, uh-huh. I do truly feel that between now and the end of our lifetime, we will have all of that answered in some yeah. way or another. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have good, good stuff. stuff. He's mm-hmm. very good at spinning that stuff without anybody like catching on or paying attention to what's going on. It just yeah. right. it goes by, and it's in, and... And Favreau you know, as well. He, he's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, Favreau's yeah. right along hey, with him. Yeah. Speaking of that... Isn't it pretty amazing that the whole Luke Skywalker thing was a secret in this day and age? Uh, in this day and age, yes. 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 Because so usually, right like, when, yeah. I just seen a video today, Windows 11 was leaked. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. how can they keep that so I, I, hush hush? Uh, I watched an interview with uh, Katie Sackhoff not too long ago. All right, she plays Bo Katan. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And, uh, she was on set the whole time. They never, ever, they didn't even know. They never even saw oh, really? it. Really? The beauty of face replacement. Scene, yeah. That whole huh. scene was done in one day off without anybody out there. They didn't even know what was going on until they were all on set together. So they nice. didn't wow. the last hour. Gina they knew. No she, was, idea. she was lying. She was trying to make us think she didn't know who was on the X-Wing. Gina knew all along. <laughs> yeah, she did. That's why oh, they Gina. got rid of her in the end. That's probably why they got rid of Gina. But we were talking about that too. Speaking of getting rid of Gina, they canceled my order for the Mandalorian. Oh. Part, of the, part of the Mandalorian. The figure. No, the book. The book. Oh, right? that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. she was in it. Not releasing the book because she's in it. That and they knew that that would that would have been worth some money. Right away. Right away. I pre-ordered, I pre-ordered that on the very first day, and then I got nice. recently. I got an email. Not happening. Oh, that's too bad. Dave, you got a. Uh, you still have an action figure from her, right? I do. See, that's going to be worth some money. There was Never. supposed to be a spinoff, too, I thought, of a show with her. Right? Yes. Yeah, Rangers. I, Rangers I was, was going to be all about her. Be, yeah, she will be ah. part of the yeah. Is great. she well, still going to be in it now? or I mean, have they reconciled that? Or is she back? So. No? It's good, just so. going to get another actress, huh? So Not yet. The, la- the last I heard on that was Filoni's going to try to spin... Um, I just drew a blank. From Rebels. Um, Hera. Ezra? Hera. Uh, have Hera. Yeah. Hera. Ah. They're going to try to spin Hera into that. Hmm. Okay. I mean, without getting into the, the reasons and the details about why she left, right. I, I, she was one of my favorite characters, actually. I really look forward to, to her episodes. And I think, you know, yeah. 
it, she, she, was she the best actress in the world? Probably not, but I think she brought something really cool to that role. And she did. something different, something we hadn't really seen. Can we still Wars. talk about Kara? Yep. Yeah. 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 One of my favorite and she characters. was like a, a sweet monster. Yeah, you know, beautiful. Like a beautiful. Again, again right. yeah. a really great. Again, I, I go back to Filoni. I'm pretty convinced that that part was written for Gina Carano. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there was ever anyone else in mind for that. Yeah, yeah I yeah. couldn't see anyone else really that yeah. could fill that role. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody, but she just fit it perfectly. She did a really good job on that show. Yeah, and, and, and I'm, my... I'm sorry that that happened. You know that that's. The situation, and we won't see her again. So that sucks. I still have my Funko Pop of Gina, so I'm good. It's fine. Ah, there you go. <laughs> it's two collectibles that people have. Man, I gotta get some action figures. The price is starting to go down. Is it? Mm. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. I seen mm. the the retro Cardoon was just twenty two bucks, mm. which isn't oh, yeah. too bad. Yeah, which is how much I I paid that for Princess Leia's helmet replacement. I paid twenty two. Well, twenty two quid, not bucks. So. Oh, ah, with a little little that's, helmet. Wow, yeah, that's, more, that's more than twenty two bucks. Yeah, it's funny you <laughs> said that about the helmet because I have that action figure as well, and I'm like, oh yeah, the helmet's gone. I have no idea where that. I'm sure it's in the back of some moving yeah. truck from long did, ago or in. Did you know I? You know, I made a video about that very same subject. That's what I'm saying. When you when you had that video and you showed the helmet. And you mentioned that you bought it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. no, nope, no. Nope. You and your videos, man, making people cry. It wasn't long after David made that floor about that video about flooring. You know, etching laser flooring. Did, 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 was that Dave? Was that? Yeah. Did you, you guys a, know about that? He made a he made a floor video. Did you do a laser no. floor etching video? So for those of you wondering what's going on, we we've, we've got this long-standing inside joke where. I wanted to make a, a floor for the new uh, basement area, the new entrance area, and Dave comes out of nowhere, like like as if we didn't know this. Like, well, I have a video on a floor. Look in the video. I did it in the video, and so from then, all of us are like, wait, is, is there's a video for this? So we keep messing with him, and we're like, man, if only somebody would make a video about how to make a floor. So it's it's an ongoing joke that just keeps going on and will keep going on. Because I had no idea there was a video about yeah, floors. Ca- Stop yelling, Dennis. Yeah, and then that's the other joke. Um, everyone sees how how calm Dennis are uh, Dennis is. So the long going joke is to tell him to stop yelling. Because and, and he's not really yelling. So now you guys get to step excited, into the. Though. He does he's get excited. excited. So now you get to, a, a, a step into the A team's world, and, and and we chat every day. Sometimes I have to look through and figure out where did all right, where yeah. was my last chat cuz that's when I was looking. 30 I do 30 and let me yeah. Yeah, you know exactly. What? Exactly. Of course. Even, Ron, even when I'm busy, I try to throw at least a one word comment in there. I do too. How, how far back I got to go to catch up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or thumbs up. Okay, I know I must have looked at it at yeah. that point. Let me yeah. go through 30 different, you know. And what's cool is on so I have an Android phone as well as my iPhone. Right. On the Android, if you press play on one yeah. thing on the app, it will actually play yeah, automatically. Yeah, I love that. It does I not like happen on the up. iPhone. Yeah, it yeah. plays oh, right. It, plays it, it goes. Up. Yeah, yeah. Because wow. of the time delay, the I time know. delay, I wake up to a podcast every morning. Play, <laughs> right. um, and I don't wear headphones. And Mrs. is like, what the boys talk about last night. Well, let's have a listen. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, of course, yeah. sometimes. But yeah, it's. Uh, it's good. Yeah. It's but, funny. Um, it's just craziness. Our conversation other, is a bit delayed, right? Because yeah. of my. It's the other thing I like about the yeah. iPhone is your conversation is a different color from the rest. So as I'm oh, working, well, mine. I just roll. But no, like mine, for example, mine shows up blue, and your guys show up right. white. Yep. So I, yeah. I scroll back to the very last blue and just exactly, exactly, and <laughs> and I I actually prefer the audio. Because then I know I can grab the Android and just press, right, press right. play, and that, you're you're right. It's truly a podcast in right. of it yeah. in and of its own. And I can just sit down and listen while I'm doing my work, and then I start laughing. And then I want to comment, but it's it's so far in the past. It just, it, I missed my opportunity. <laughs> you know? It's like watching one of those re- those repeat shows, isn't it? Where you want to ring the number button. Exactly. Know, exactly. exactly. I want to <laughs> order that. Oh wait, that was like last. That was like in the '80s. I can't order that. <laughs> I no bedazz- no bedazzling. I told Free easy payments. Back, I told you guys months back we had Radio Gold on that channel. You did, yeah. And so here yeah. we are. Here we are. This, so I think you gotta bump Dennis a little bit. 
Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. You know, Dennis, th- this podcast no, I mean, is because volume. of him. Oh, wait, do I? Okay, give me a second. Yeah, a little Sorry. bit. Uh, He's having trouble see. breaking through the boy, aren't you, mate? Let's yeah, turn on a matter of yelling again. All right. <laughs> yes. Hey, Dennis, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Just calm, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's all right. Ah, there you go. There's a shirt of uh. So this was that. That was the uh the the egg container challenge, which yeah. I now regret that I did not join that. I regret it. I, James. There won't be a repeat of that. I will join every challenge out there now. That's that's happening. James, I was telling the boys that I left my uh, egg container in the shop, and the first right. day of summer when we hit 90 degrees, all the water beads melted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all the eggs wow. rushed up to the top. <laughs> Damn, I can't what believe you did that thing pop? to seal anyway. Or what? Oh, it's sealed tight. That was, a, that was amazing. So thing. they're like gel. They're like a real, seriously like a gelatin bead. Mm. Yeah. So I think just with the heat, the the gel softens, because you can oh, still wow. see them in there, but they're not as dense. So the eggs just pass right by them and float up to the top. You know, you just uh, reminded me the garage is hot, and I have uh, the upper part of K two S O sitting in the yeah. garage because I was sanding it. Now I'm I'm starting to have a slight panic. Yeah. Like, uh oh. Be careful with that. Uh oh. <laughs> My IG, my IG11 <laughs> helmet came apart in two pieces on one of the seams. Oh scenes. no! I gotta go in the garage and grab that stuff immediately yeah. after this. That's oh, that. No. That's happening. That's happening. Along with yeah. uh, completing once my work you, uh, on the CNC. <laughs> once you paint them or clear coat them, they're pretty safe. But if they're mm. in there in the raw straight filament, they will melt. Really? really? Yeah. Oh, it's they'll not too soft. hot. They're gonna melt. They'll get soft spots. <laughs> oh no! I gotta go down there. Because, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm in the middle of sanding it all. Go now and then pause and then... Re- yeah. You're editing this, right? Right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I am editing it, but you know, it's all good. We, we got like three minutes left for our, for our hour, so... We'll, IG-88. You know IG-88's this... got those big holes around the sides, right? The bigger ones. The line How right be... in between them came right apart in two pieces. Oh, that sucks. What were we saying? Dave? You're saying, Dave? Oh, how's your bench? Is it comfy? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's as comfy as I imagine the Falcon bench to be. It's not. It's not like a. It's not like a chilled, chilled sit back, relax type like thing. A couch. Is it? Yeah, you know, but it looks cool. <laughs> it does look cool. Yeah, it does look cool. But uh, is it comfortable to sit for an hour? He has no. been squirming. Or is it like hard? <laughs> it's well, it's hard because it's it's, it's HD foam, but you, there is some give. I can feel it like under my ass cheeks. I guess I can feel it. Giving away a little bit, yeah. not as in you don't have much back there probably, because you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, like uh-huh. maybe if a guy like me came over, maybe maybe it would be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'm not going to laugh because that sounds like I'm acquiescing and, and agreeing with your comment on weight. But um, no, it's it's really comfortable. I like it. But I do like sitting look, forward. It does look. Really I have cool. a bad. I have a bad back, so I, I tend to does, sit forward. Ah. Cool. Ah. It would be a lot, lot better when I get all of this done. This is going to be the bunk. It's a lot mm. smaller. I mean, obviously, I can't lay in there, but it's going to be lit, and there's going to be little crates and stuff. And I think my cool. weapon, my weapon um, uh, gun rack that I'm working on at the minute is going to go kind of there. So nice. we, I'm working on that bit next. Are you going to put a character in that bunk area? Or maybe his kid? Ah, okay. Kids could go up in there. Since, since I never made the egg container, he's going to have a bunk. So, nice, nice. Hey, yeah. speaking of egg container, yet yeah, weren't you making a uh, spider or something from? Oh, yeah, I'm 3D okay. modeling that. I've got kind of halfway through it. Nice. It's, ah. Yeah, it's it's diff- you know it's difficult with the kids and a wife and full time oh, sure. jobs. It's uh, you know this is why it's like what is it now for me? One yes, yes. nearly twenty to two in the morning because this is my time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind hanging out with you boys at this time. It's all good. L- but, little yeah, me time. It's difficult. It's difficult, really. You know. It's difficult. Uh, I know, I know I will always um, prioritize them over, over my hobby, but, sure. uh, you know, oh, yeah. uh, I still get stuff done. Yep. Just, yep. just takes time. Yep. All yeah, good. I'm, w- I'm with you on that. There's no, r- there's no way around it. Absolutely. Ah, it's all good. Oh, yeah. Just every other hour, you know, Star Wars or whatever you're building, right? Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Cool. And speaking of hour, 
we are up with our hour. This has been episode wow. one. Wow. So thanks, guys, for joining. And um, hopefully some someone will watch it and take uh, at least crack a smile when they it watch it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. <laughs> we, we, need to, we need to find our flow, but I think it was a good, good first yeah. go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so cool. Oh, thanks, guys, for joining. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. It's already been the hour. And let me end the broadcast. So see you guys later. Take care, guys.